Welcome back everyone, it's Rini from Rini Rocks. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I made this 10 inch bowl using um, a couple of pigments from May Spring. It's uh, Opulent Tanzanite, Dazzling Diamond, and I've mixed those uh, two together. And I have this plastic Mandela mold that I, well, actually it's a multi-pack that I bought off Amazon and Liquitex uh, modeling paste. But first we're going, to, I'm just gonna, um, uh, pour the um, resin mix into the mold. So I'll, you, you'll see there that I have mixed up 200 mils for this 10 inch, uh, 10 inch mold. It won't fill it up all the way, but that's fine because I didn't want it to, I didn't want to fill it up and you'll see why later on. So I'm just going to pour that in. You'll see I have, I think I just found some dust there. So I'm just grab some tape and pick it up. And then we're good to go. Yeah, so while I'm doing that, I hope you guys are doing great. I've been super busy, like well, haven't we all? Um, if, you're a new, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're not, if you're coming back, thank you so much, guys. I completely appreciate you. You guys rock. Okay, so I've just filled up the mold. Such a beautiful color. And we're going to let that uh, cure. And um, we'll be back for the next part. All right, so the base has cured. It's such a pretty color. Um, definitely better to work with in the daylight. At night, it seems as though it's almost black, but then when you see it at, in during the day, you can see what a beautiful color it truly is. All right, so yesterday I decided, after I'd poured this, that I was actually gonna add some glitter around the uh, around the edge of uh, of this bowl so what I decided to use was mauve pearl with a little bit of whirlpool and they're both from glitter makes it and then I had some random um, different hues of purple glitter as well just fine and I just mix them all together and this is what I came up with Oh, and then I've also added some gold fine glitter in here too. And yeah, I think it'll just look really great. This combination with this color. It's, yeah, it's going to be beautiful. Okay, so let's get started here. I have my... Um, just a sec here, guys. Okay. I have the stencil. And we're just going to place it, I'm just going to place it as close to the middle as I can. Just eyeball it. Let's see. It's not exact measurement, but, you know, we can just pretty much get it where it needs to be. All right, we'll leave that. And I'm just going to tape this down. Make sure it's down flat. I'm actually gonna show you a piece that I made here briefly after it's, it was a, a lid to a really uh, cool jewelry box. I'm gonna take that down too. There you go. And 
Yes, there as well. Just want to make sure that it's taped down securely. And there you have it. Okay, so let's grab the modeling paste from Liquitex. See, I've been using it. <laughs> Give this a quick stir. What I need to go and grab is a um, a larger, like one of those plastic spatula or spreaders. But right now I have this painting tool, which is will it'll be just fine. Oopsie, bad! Don't do that. Don't lift up and down. Okay. So I'm just going to spread this over the um, design. Oh, oh, I see a problem here. It's okay, guys. That that little bit there is has lifted. I don't like that. Hmm. grab this we'll see what happens if I don't like it I can um, just scrape this off and you can reuse this you don't have to waste your product it takes a little while for it to harden up so yeah I really like it it's very versatile and, and I mean, the sky's the limit with what you can uh, make. I'm spreading this pretty thin. You can actually like really pile this up and then slow, I would obviously you'd have to lift it up a little slower and then you could create more of a three-dimensional pattern. And for me, I actually don't mind if it uh, it's not perfectly smooth on top. Try to get it as smooth as you can, but uh, It should be good. Okay. That one little bit there is really annoying me. I didn't realize, I didn't see that it had, uh, that it's not laying flat when I initially spread it. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, should be good. It's covered nicely. Let's close this up. And there you go. So let's see what we get. So now you just want to carefully lift this without moving it too much. So I'm just going to just lift the tape up off the corners here. There you go. Do not want this to move. There we go. <clears throat> okay, here goes nothing. Let's see what happened. Oh, 
Nope, it's stuck here. The tape isn't off. Jeez. Just lift it up. There you go. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's see where it lifted. Yeah, see, it didn't. Mm. I'm wondering. That is kind of annoying. I'm a little annoyed with that. <sighs> Should I scrape it off? I just kind of lost the design there, but I really wanted to use this pattern too. I don't know what happened here. Okay, I'm just going to set this over here. And then you can, I usually just take this and um, take the spatula, the spreader, whatever, and then just scrape the um, excess off and then just stick it back into its container. Okay, so hold on a sec. I'm going to go grab a little paintbrush. I really don't want to scrape it off just for that one little bit. It's really annoying. not one thing, it's always another. Mm. bet a lot of you are like, rub it off, rub it off. And part of me is like, I don't really want to. Another part of me is like, I should. Let's see. I am going to fix it, so it's not going to be perfect, but that's okay. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna clean this up to the best that I can, and it'll just it'll be just fine. All right, I'll continue dealing with this off camera. We're gonna let this set for um, about half an hour to an hour and then we'll come back and lay the um, the glitter. I'm gonna brush it on. I'm gonna do um, use the technique that uh, Liadia um, does with her um, with her you know with her latest uh, coasters and how she just like brushes it on. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, we'll be, we'll be right back. 
So it's been about an hour and the modeling paste has dried enough to go on to the next step. So you'll see here that I've uh, just put in some um, Liquitex clear gloss varnish into the a little bit of the um, glitter mix and I want to get it into I want to get it a somewhat creamy consistency not too watery not too thick just enough that it uh, when I push it out with the paintbrush it uh, you know will just kind of give me that wispiness that I'm looking for so I just place it down I just place it down a little bit first into in sections and then I just kind of pull out um, towards the Mandela sign and go from there so this one will take a little bit of time and so when I'm done all this we're gonna let that dry so I think it was about I don't know let's say about an hour didn't take very long to dry at all and then we can add the top coat In here you'll see that I've uh, decided to switch brushes. This one was much softer. The one I was using was a little too hard. And so now the um, the glitter mix is just spreading a little nicer, more evenly. And actually just making it just a tad little faster. But uh, yeah, it's looking good so far. just some final touches and it's uh, looking good I really like it so now we're going to just put, put a top coat of clear resin um, it's been about I don't know let's say half an hour to an hour now since I've laid down the um, the glitter and so now I think I used another hundred I used a hundred mils for the top coat and just evenly spread it around pop some bubbles and uh, wait for the cure and actually in this video I'm not haven't shown how I um, turned it into a bowl because we all know most of us know I have some previous videos where you can um, see how the bowl is shaped but uh, yeah for this video I didn't show that process I just placed it in a smaller bowl heated it up with the heat gun and um, molded it and then that was that Okay, so it's all cured now and it's ready to demold. I think it turned out really great. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think of this. Thank you all for watching. And please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys again the next time. Bye now.